Hello, everyone. You look beautiful out here. Thanks for coming. I'm Sonia Hollins, Manager of Annual Giving and Alumni Engagement at WMED. November is the season of Thanksgiving, when we reflect on the things and the people for which we are grateful. As an expression of our appreciation to all of you, we have asked Ms. Aya Hodges to recite a poem. Aya is a member of the Merced Explorers. She is also a native of Kalamazoo, a senior at Kalamazoo Central High School, and in 2022, Aya represented the Murray State Explorers in the True Colors My Law competition. It was a partnership with Michigan State University. She won the state competition and went on to compete in New York City at the Harlem Apollo Theater. Her goal is to become an actress. She wants to attend Howard University, and she's played in various school and civic theater productions. Uh, so I welcome you, Ms. Aya Hodges. The Republic Gives Thanks by Amanda Gorman, the inaugural youth poet laureate of the United States. In 1863, deep in the Civil War's magnitude, Abraham Lincoln called a day of gratitude, shared by one heart and one voice of America, a proclamation for a nation in a nightmare. This Thanksgiving dared Americans to chime their thanks at a time many believed that they had no thanks to give. Yet, is this day now about turkey? About a plate full of food? Or is it about being grateful in more than just an attitude? The Iroquois remind us with one mind to find the words that come before all else, because to give thanks is to live it. It's not just in speech, but in each of our daily actions. It's reaching across divisions toward a vision of a long, strong house and table where we're able to gather together. If we dream past pilgrims and the mast of the Mayflower, it may empower us to bravely learn from the people of the first light to return to Lincoln's fight, to furnish our might by uniting around any piece of peace, no matter how small. We still hear all these first teachers called by the will of those still here on this earth like the Wampanoag, who show us the worthiest way to give thanks for our blessings, isn't to hog them, but to give them away. It's then, full of this feeling, that healing can begin. Because maybe, to be American is to be akin to a courageous hope, to trust that even if just for a moment, we can, we must, close rank as people, one heart, one voice, one mind, created equal like two vessels meeting at a riverbank anew. Under the sky's greeting of bright, blank, blue, you'll begin beside the people who flank you. We come to these words before and above all dreams, saying with more love and restored meaning, thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 